Well, his two decades in power have reshaped life for millions of Turks, and President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has secured his place as the country's leader for another five years. On Sunday, Erdogan overcame the biggest political challenge of his career in the country's first ever second round of voting in a presidential election. He won 52 percent of the vote over his challenger, Kamal Kılıç Darulu, who brought in 48 percent. Let's cross now to France 24's William Hildebrandt in Istanbul. So we just heard the general results there. Will, I know you're pouring over the numbers. Uh, how did things break down in Istanbul, for example, where you are? Well, some big takeaways from the results. Uh, first of all, as you say, despite this being the first ever presidential runoff, he came out on top. Despite facing his biggest political challenge, yet he came out top. Despite an economic crisis that economists say his unorthodox policies make worse, he claimed victory. Now, here in Istanbul, Kamal Kilic won both rounds. The first round by 190,000 votes, the second round by 350,000 votes. Obviously a different story for the rest of the country and for overseas voters. 1.7 million ballots cast from abroad. 60 percent of those went to Erdogan. So Recep Tayyip Erdogan starting a third decade in power. Well, what are we hearing, Will, from both Erdogan's camp and, and from the opposition in terms of official statements in the wake of these results? Well, there's one noticeable um, uh, remark that Erdogan made uh, last night on the balcony. He said that uh, Turkey had entered negotiations with Qatar to send back one million Syrian refugees. Now, that hasn't been finalized. These are going to be difficult negotiations with Syria, Turkey looking to uh, normalize relations with Damascus. But it won't be immediate and it won't be easy. But that was a thorny issue, especially after the first round. The role of Syrian refugees in the country believed to have up to four million in the country. From the opposition side, the leaders of the Table of Six alliance met last night. We were expecting an official announcement about whether that alliance, this broad-reaching alliance that includes secularists, Islamists, nationalists and liberals, would stay together. There are local elections coming up in March, a lot of attention being, uh, being given to this alliance, but there was no official announcement. That suggests that they might not be on the same page yet. We'll have to see what the rest of the day holds.